am Chi from winery.ph. I'm WSET Level 3 certified and also WSET certified wine educator. Today, I will be talking to you about why use wine glasses. You may have wondered, why do I need to use a wine glass to drink my wine when I can easily use a water goblet, or a paper cup, or even a coffee cup? Um, you can drink wine from any kind of glass if all you want is to get a buzz or to relax at the end of a long day. But being a wine educator and being somebody who loves wine, I would like to talk to you about why it is very important to savor your wine in a proper wine glass. I uh, cajoled my other teammate to start trying the wines using thanks, different glasses. Thanks for having me over. <laughs> You're welcome, Mickey. Free wine. Who, who says no to that? <laughs> yeah, even if you have to drink it from a paper cup first. Yeah. Do we, do okay. we now? Yes. I was so, what they were for. we will see if there is any difference drinking wine from other cups or other glasses other than a wine glass. Did ah. it pour too much? Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Can you actually see? <laughs> Anything? How well? No. Well, you can if, if you, you look you try to, down. If you try to analyze it, though, the, if you try to analyze the wine the way you would through a wine glass, you don't really see much. The, the, <laughs> the walls are opaque, <laughs> not transparent. Looking down, it doesn't really give you a good idea of yeah. the opacity or how transparent the wine is. The bottom of this is yeah. still not see-through. You don't get a sense of whether anything is floating about. Yeah. If it's a cloudy, hazy wine or if it's a clear wine with sediments in it, you're none of that. Yeah, nothing. Let's see when we try and smell. Yeah. They're not easy to swirl in a, in a glass <laughs> that tapers outwards. Yeah. It smells like paper. It smells like um, paper, definitely. Um, using a paper cup, you would know even if you're just drinking water. There's a mild aroma or a mild taste yeah. of paper affecting when you're drinking water from a paper cup and more so when you're drinking wine. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, 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 so you don't actually get any aromas from the wine. So, zero <laughs> for sight, smelling now. Let's try and sip and see. Yeah, it does kind of affect. Yeah, it actually doesn't taste like anything, to be honest. To me, uh, I don't taste anything. It's like yeah. flavored liquid that gives me a little warmy sensation. I don't get it. Almost anything. like mulled wine, but it's cold. <laughs> yes, yes, like mulled wine, correct. We move on to our coffee cups or mugs. Make sure we have enough wine. Same. Same yeah. You can't see so anything. Definitely, you can't see through yeah. this. And it doesn't give you a good idea of the opacity or the transparency of the wine when you look down. So How about this is much darker. Pa. Yeah. Actually, yeah. now it's kind of tinged with some other color. No, definitely. So because this cup was was white. Okay. Can you try and swirl? Easier to do. It's easier to <laughs> swirl handle. for sure. <laughs> but but you, you won't warm your wine yeah, because you're, you're holding the handle. But. <laughs> So you swirl to release aromas. Let's see if we've released any. None. <laughs> and I just heard. I feel. I feel like this is even worse because, yeah. given that this is a pretty big mug, the liquid is so far from your nose when yeah, you stick you your nose in there. Given yeah. that this is a smaller container. So far back. Oh, that's a little guys. Eh? Yeah, it doesn't um, smell like anything. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see. I just find it funny because it's like I'm drinking coffee, but it's not coffee. Um, it doesn't taste like paper. It doesn't taste the, like paper. There's no nothing contaminating the flavor and the aroma experience. So I think that's a good thing. Yes, I get a little bit more paper. acidity this time, yeah. which I didn't get earlier. So maybe if you were to choose between paper cup and coffee mug, you do coffee mug okay. if that's your only choice. Next, we try oh, with a water goblet. Okay, this is actually looks promising because it is shaped more or less like a wine, wine glass, glass, at least initially by looking at it. But biggest tell I would guess is that if you take a look at how it's shaped, it's very much perpendicular yeah. to how the ground is. There's no any ra there, there's none of that radical tapering outwards and inwards. So yeah, it, it's not engineered to kind of help you with the sensory experience of drinking wine. But can you see color, at least you can. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. So much already better than the, much better than the yeah. previous two. And how about aromas? As Mickey said earlier, it doesn't really taper apart. So whatever aromas are released will get released. It will not get trapped in the glass. 
Let's see if that's true. Mm. <laughs> Actually, yeah, really true. Like you don't get anything um, as pronounced as you would if you know. If Not you much were different from a coffee mug, I would say. True. How oh. about flavors? Well, it's like progressively getting better, guys. This was like, eh, this one had some flavor. This one, there's fruit tastes in there. like wine. Yeah, yeah there's it fruit does. in there, dark it fruit. Yeah. Cassis, almost. Yeah. yeah, you can get the black currant notes that you normally would get from a Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is the last. And I'll leave you a little bit to taste. <laughs> because I am fair that way. All right. Um, this is a proper wine glass, guys. Uh, as you can see, it's, you know, you have a stem, you have a base, you have a tapering bowl towards the rim. Um, and it is really designed for appreciating wine. Color is there, yeah. yeah. You can see its opacity, you can see what color it is, if it's ruby or purple. This is, this is still ruby with tinges of purple. Oh yeah, definitely. It's yeah. almost like it's an entirely different yeah. wine. It's like an entirely different beverage. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, what little fruit I was picking up from the water goblet, it's immediately more perceptible in this one. Uh, a lot of dark fruits yeah. here, plum, cassis, along the lines of that. And it's weird. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon, but I pick up some chocolate in there. Yeah. Almost, it almost smells like a mirror. Now you enjoy the wine, right? Yeah, Even definitely. before drinking it. So now let's yeah. drink it. Let's see. You don't take our word for it. I suggest you try this at home. But really, it makes a big difference, no? Big. Big difference when big. you drink wine from a proper... Glass. And especially since the biggest difference I noticed from all of these is how powerful the aromas are. And mind you that a lot of the experience when, when it comes to drinking wine is yeah. it comes from what you smell. Yeah. So if you don't smell anything, it's like eating something yeah. with a cold. Yeah. If you don't smell anything, you don't yeah. taste anything. And here you smell a lot of things. You also taste a lot of things, so I would say therein lies the secret to enjoying a, a good, good, good glass of wines. It's Probably getting a proper glass. Yeah. Yeah. So, in conclusion, what can you say then? I mean, get yourself a wine, a good wine glass. And if you start spending more on wine, regularly drinking the alcoholic beverage, uh, it doesn't hurt to kind of invest in it. Yeah. spend on it you're drinking expensive stuff you wouldn't drink expensive wine from, from a paper cup from a yeah. paper cup it's an insult to your wine <laughs> but really you can drink wine from anywhere you can drink wine yeah. from anywhere but to really savor and appreciate the experience we suggest grab this so guys thanks for watching this video if you liked it please leave us a like and if you want more wine content don't forget to hit the notification button in the meantime i'm cheap and i'm Till the next drink. Cheers. Cheers.